All right, guys, so today we're going to be talking about the handguns that I run for everyday carry or EDC. Now, before we get into this, as always, please don't forget to comment, like, share, subscribe, check out the Patreon, the Instagram, all of the fun stuff. The support means a ton, and as to the algorithms for YouTubes, all of these guns are completely legal. We're not using any high capacity magazines, any 30 round magazines, everything is safe legal and fun so as always guys now let's jump into it okay so i'm not quite sure where to begin with this i have about five handguns that i run pretty actively in my uh, rotation so we're going to try to go over all of them from most carried to least carried and basically when i try to carry them or the rationale between or behind each one of them now of course i'm a bit of a collector so i like to just have multiple guns but of course most of these handguns do serve a specific role and purpose so starting off with my current go-to edc handgun this is a custom gen 4 glock 19 has a fax and barrel a boogeyman custom um side and of course it has a trigicon rmr on it and of course it has a cool agency um, flared magwell for speedy reloads i am going to further customize this gun and add an extended side release and suppressor height sights on it so it's not completely finished but for the most part this is the rig and i do actively edc this guy as my go-to um, concealed carry handgun and i am running it in a t-rex arms inside the waistband holster with of course the uh, magazine carrier on the side so and of course in that magazine carrier i'm running a 19 round glock mag so that is the current edc rig of course this one is clear but uh, that is the setup as far as it goes so it's my first one that is my go-to now my second go-to and the one that i was actually EDCing before I went over to the Glock 19 uh, Gen 4 custom one is a pretty vanilla, pretty standard Glock 19X. Now this guy, once again, is clear. Nothing in the magazine, nothing in the chamber. But this guy is one that, for the most part, was my EDC rig for the past two years. Really do enjoy it. And this gun still is one of my go-tos because it is a very shootable gun now the 19x what distinguishes it between a stock 19 is that it has the glock so it distinguishes it between the standard glock 19 is that it has a glock 17 sized frame so you guys can see there it is noticeably longer in the handle and of course it means that this has a flush fit 17 round magazine or will flush fit 17 round magazines and of course this is a 19 with so it's a 17 with a plus two extension on it but uh, that's how it looks it is a pretty nice rig and ultimately i got this guy because i wanted a gun for the kind of tumultuous times the past few years and I still keep it and retain it for those reasons and what I mean by tumultuous times is just in general if there are times or situations where you may have to deal with multiple attackers multiple aggressors it's nice to have a gun that can easily bump up to a 20 round magazine capacity or at least 20 round capacity so you have a 19 round magazine plus one in the chamber gives you a 20 round overall capacity now this guy does have glocks factory night sights and i did add the extended slide release on this guy so it is from stock and ambidextrous slide release that's just a, a generational thing with this guy but for the most part outside of those two um minor additions it's pretty stock pretty vanilla and i really honestly like it this way and i will probably retain this gun in its stock form because once again i do have the 19 that has a rds already set up and ready to go okay next one that does see a little bit more carry than the 19x is going to be the fn 509c it's actually on this side i should see say and this is the tactical version of the c so this guy is of course a subcompact handgun and i usually try to balance out the fo or fn 509c tactical with the glock 19 in the fact that if i need a gun especially a gun with a smaller handle i want i'll usually run this guy now this is essentially fn's version of the sig p365 so it is a one and a half stack so this is a 12 round magazine and 
This one is the tactical version, so it is set up and does have a red dot on it with suppressor height sights and of course a threaded barrel. So probably won't be suppressing this one just because it kind of defeats the purpose of a compact gun. But things that I do like about the threaded barrel is the fact that you do have a little bit of extra barrel length. So you have about a half inch extra barrel length over you know, a non-threaded barrel. So I do like that little bit of extra length as far as barrel goes for speed and velocity. But as far as it goes, I really just uh, like this gun for working out and being more active. Once again, it's a little bit smaller, a little bit easier to conceal. And uh, yeah, just a really, really nice subcompact gun and actually a really light recoiling gun. It's actually kind of funny. I shot this gun back to back with my 19, my Gen 4, and it actually at least felt recoil wise, feels softer to shoot than the 19. But that primarily has to do with the spring setup in this gun. So it is a really fantastic gun and I really do like the 509C. Of course, I will be making at some point when I get around to it, a review on the FN 509C Tactical. But for now, it is one of my everyday carry guns. And like I said, usually one of my kind of special use case guns where if I'm gonna be doing activities or I just want a subcompact handgun, I will be running that guy. Okay, so like I was saying, the next one is the CZP-10C. Now this one follows a similar kind of track with the, um, with the Glock 19. It is a compact, obviously denoted by the name C or P-10C. So this is a compact handgun, carries 15 rounds just like the, uh, just like the Glock 19. I just like this gun because it's a little bit different and it's a little bit of a, it's a different gun and it also works better in some situations. It's also nice to have a plain flat-sided handgun or you know something without all the bells and whistles. And occasionally this does fit better uh, into other or into some situations because like I said, it's pretty slick sided and overall it is pretty compact. It is also a really nice shooter. So kind of enjoy it from the collect collection standpoint of having multiple handguns that do similar roles just so that I can have options variety but it is also nice to have a plain sided handgun as you can see you know overall like you know when you take a look at what this guy got going on versus this one you know this is a uh, pretty plain sided in addition to some people may ask you know why do you have such a you know like no frills handgun sometimes it's nice to have handguns staged in different areas say like a vehicle if you need to walk away from it it's nice to not have a gun that costs over a thousand dollars you know with the rmr on it and all the custom things it's nice to be able to leave a handgun that is still very capable very shootable but you know if for whatever reason it got confiscated or got um, taken in any way, you know, you're not losing a, you know, close to $1,500 custom gun with, you know, nice sights and everything. You're losing a kind of more base, more gen generic, more vanilla gun. So while I'm certainly not saying that you should carry guns where you shouldn't carry guns, and I'm not saying that, you know, you should aim for that to happen, certainly would not want a gun to be taken from me for any reason. But sometimes in certain situations, it is nice to just have a more vanilla gun so that if it is lost for any reason, you aren't out, you know, really nice sights, really nice, you know, uh, really nice sights, slides, barrels, whatever. Yeah, it's nice to just have a more basic gun for those purposes. So that is the next gun up on the list. It is, like I said, the CZP-10C and mine is pretty vanilla. Next one and last one up on the list is going to be the Glock 21. Now I do not carry this guy too terribly often but I usually carry the Glock 21, especially in the winter, kind of when I go outdoors and stuff. And it is just generally a gun for when I want a full-sized handgun. Now, similar to my Glock 19X, it does have the same length of handle, but this is of course a full framed gun. So it has the longer barrel, longer handle, and of course it shoots 45 ACP. So I do not usually run this one as much, but when I do want the 45 ACP, and I do want to carry a larger caliber, for handguns and usually more outdoors of course this isn't necessarily intended for like bear defense or at least that's not at least that's not the reason i carry it um 
but I do like having this handgun for being a full-sized, full-framed handgun for either extra shooter shootability, but usually for outdoor or open carry use. So overall, it's just a nice kind of duty-sized handgun, but uh, still it does conceal pretty darn well, and it is a pretty capable package, and I do like the variation of being able to have a 45 ACP in the collection. This one, of course, is pretty generic, pretty vanilla as well, but it does have Glock's original night sights, and it is a pretty good image of just a awesome Gen 3 Glock. So this was also my first Glock, I will say too. So once again, it doesn't get carried as much, but I do enjoy having it for EDC because it was my first Glock. And of course, as you guys can see, there are many Glocks now in my collection. So I do love Glocks as a whole and they're pretty sweet rigs. And maybe in the future, I will do more with the Sky, but generally, uh, because I don't tend to carry 45s as much, it doesn't see as much action. And when it does see action, I generally don't mind. It's more vanilla setup. So anyways, I would say definitely out of the two or out of the five handguns shown, the ones that do see the most time and the most action are the FN 509C when I want a compact or subcompact handgun that is still very capable. And of course the Glock 19 Gen 4 Custom. These guys are what see the most time for me. It's just which uh, application and use case do I want. This guy for smaller, easier carry, this one for just more well-rounded general use cases. So that's why I have those two guys. And once again, they are my more modern handguns and like I said, my more go-to guys. So as always guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned something new and as always, God bless and I'm out.